y'all. Thursday, November 5th. I'm heading to the woods by myself for the entire day. I'm uh, kind of excited to see how this goes. I, I might even be the only one up at the woods today. I don't know what other hunters are doing. I mean, it is Thursday, working day. I don't know who's got off, who's going where. But, um, yep, heading out. Found some really good signs the last time we were out, though we didn't have any luck. Uh, pretty much the entire month of October has been an absolute bust for us um, out there at Liberty Reservoir. I don't know about any other Maryland hunters or like what all's going on. I mean, according to all the posts that I'm seeing on like all these hunter pages and stuff like that, everyone says like peak rut activity, bucks chasing does, this, that, and the third. And I'm not seeing any bit of that where we're hunting. So, I mean, usually it, it is like that. You see the deer pretty much just about any time of the day. But I mean, I don't know. I, I guess it's just wind and all that other stuff is really playing a role here i don't i don't know i just feel like the deer were only coming through the area where we were hunting at nighttime but we did find some really good scrapes um there is definitely a dominant buck in the area and i want to say that it may just be that buck that i shot at and missed last season um, it's also a buck that we had an encounter with me, Dylan, and Ethan had an encounter with one morning making a scrape right under this same exact tree. So, I'm thinking it's him. It may be more than one because there was way more than one scrape underneath of this tree. We got doe tracks in the scrapes. We got buck tracks in the scrapes. We got rubs. It's just... It's looking like a hot spot right there, so I figured I'm just going to go ahead and sit on top of those scrapes pretty much all day. We're going to see if we can get anything moving through. I'm not climbing out of the tree until the end of the day. It's 4.30 now. I should get to the woods at around 5 and um, set up hopefully no later than 5.15, 5.30. So, we will be back when we get to the woods. Thank you all for tuning in. For those of you... That are new to the Facebook page. Thank you all for giving us a thumbs up. For liking our page. We're working our way to a thousand likes. We've jumped up a whole bunch. Um, so if you guys are new. Welcome. Uh, for those of you that have been here for a while. Thank you guys for supporting. For all this time. We're only going to keep growing from here. Hopefully. Um, even if we don't make it big. That's not really the goal. The goal behind all this is. Is just sharing experiences in the outdoors with y'all. Um, I do want to start doing family Fridays. So, I'll be doing a separate post about that. I want you guys to get out, you know, hunting, fishing, doing whatever you're doing outdoors. Take some pictures with your family and stuff. And we'll do like a little video montage. Maybe just make a big old post about it. I ain't figured that out yet. But I think it may just be best if we do the montage. That's what I'm kind of leaning towards right now. So, for those of you out there that want to participate in it, go ahead. Send us in your photos. Um, first buck picks first deer picks um fishing picks first fish whatever you know just let us know what all is going on in the photo and we'll be sure to share it so i'll make a separate post on that for you guys but again thanks for tuning in y'all stay tuned hopefully we can get some deer down today all right guys update i just had three does walk by me i just had another I really wish my dad could be there. If my dad was in the woods with me right now, they were walking in his direction where he normally sets up. No doubt in my mind, he would have one this morning. Where I'm set up right now, my dad usually sets up in the direction they just went. One well, I'm hoping that buck makes his way to me this morning. As soon as the sun starts,
hit a limb and the shot's high. He bleeding a whole lot, but I may have just clipped along. I don't know. I gotta I gotta do the right thing here and uh, I gotta put him down. But uh I believe that's a that's a six point buck. Public land, huh? He come in. Perfect time. Yeah, I just I can't believe I hit high, man. It's time for me to go do the right thing because uh, I, I don't, I did not like that shot. I thought I had it perfect. I hit a damn lamb. Man, it, that's part of hunting, but I'm gonna I'm do the right thing here and I'm gonna put him down. All right, guys. Here he is. This is not by any means a giant. Okay. Public land. Maryland bow hunt, shell filmed, and I honestly couldn't be any happier about this buck. This is actually one of the uh, twin sixes that my brother and I had on uh, trail cam uh, footage before the season started. There was him and another one that looked just like him. No brow tines, he just had these points sitting up here so not a giant by any means man but I seriously couldn't be any happier with how this hunt went I passed up uh, three bucks this morning they were all small um, had three does come by another doe set up at the top of the hill here looked like she was gonna come to me but never did um, there was another doe around just had all kinds of deer activity this morning and I just made my post talking about how uh, I've seen a lot of deer just waiting for the bigger one to come through and wouldn't you know it literally after I posted that I look up and here he comes so not a giant like I said this is just an awesome awesome public land hunt right here i mean honestly if it had been any other hunter they'd have been taking him too so <sighs> first buck 2020 season for me puts me on the list at two deer down so far both of them public land i just i was gonna come out yesterday and i didn't and then i i just really had to talk myself into coming out today and wouldn't you know it man just he just gave me a perfect shot. I hit a limb, unfortunately, and uh, shot high, but he folded right there. Didn't go, but maybe 10, 15 yards from where I shot him, I had to put another one in him. Uh, he snapped my first arrow in half, and um, I really have no idea where that second arrow went, but uh, I'm going to look for it here. In a second I gotta make a couple phone calls but man this is this is awesome I can't believe this is how this hunt ended so I set up right about there I had this window of opportunity took my shot and I just hit that limb that's sticking out threw my shot just a little high but I tell you what for a high shot this dude painted the woods. This is all over the place. Just blood everywhere. Absolutely crazy. And that's where he finished off. There he is. I had to roll him over because the other side wasn't so pretty, but. solid solid day I couldn't be any happier all right y'all so I ended up just coming home I, I didn't stay out in the woods like I initially wanted to um, I was gonna hunt all day drug deer out on my own unfortunately everybody else is at work or not available you know it's it's all good though I mean that that hunt this morning was just absolutely awesome I mean deer all over the place and it was out of a tree that my dad told me that I should probably set up in. And wouldn't you know it, six point comes walking out and 
I laid the hammer down. High shot, like I said earlier, uh, hit a limb on that top. That top fletching caught a limb up top, and it pushed the arrow down and forced it to go up. It was weird. It made no sense. But, I mean, it was just... It was so fast. Everything just kind of unfolded so quickly. And I'm glad that I had the patience to wait. And then, right after I call and tell Tyler and all them that you know I, I got a buck down on public land they're telling me Ryan shot a six today too and I'm like oh man so I mean here's some of the photos Ryan's deer is much much bigger than mine uh, it, that's a real big six uh, especially for up there at the Ohana Ranch but you just never really know what you're gonna find out there those deer usually just travel through there I mean going from one set of woods to another and I mean they got a perfect little setup for them I'm, I'm super happy today it was a great day for Devil Dog Outdoors unfortunately Ryan wasn't able to film his hunt um, but some photos will do great day great day to be out in the woods man thank you all for watching um, if you guys haven't done so already go subscribe to our YouTube channel like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. For those of you that have newly liked the page, thank you guys for giving us the like. Um, welcome. We're going to be doing this literally until I croak, whenever that may be. Uh, hopefully it's not anytime soon. Again, thank you all for watching. It was fun. Looking forward to uh, getting some more hunts in. Hopefully uh, we can fill some more of them doe tags. Dylan needs to get on a deer. My dad does. Mark does. And um, see how it goes from there.